Martha, Joanne, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? So glad you guys are here today. Um, hi, Laurie, how are you? Let's see, Star's here from Michigan. Um, quilting on Espanol. She keeps missing our live show, but she's here tonight for sure. Woo! -hoo! Yay! Hi from Indiana. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Deidre. Hello, Gypsy Woman. Hello, Mary. How are you? Uh, let's see. Gypsy Woman is windy. Windy, windy. See, I have to, my brain has to work really, really hard to remember who it is. Hi, Sue. Thanks for being here, you guys. So, um, we've decided that I should have a little bit of um, order <laughs> to the lives. So, um, we have kind of like little segments that we're going to do. So, hello everybody. In case you don't know me and you're new, my name's Christy and I am the owner of an online quilt shop located in Moscow, Idaho. It's called rebsfabstash.com and um, it's called rebsfabstash because mom's name is Rebecca and Reb is short for Rebecca and she named it rebsfabstash. And then I took it over in uh, 2018 or so, and now we have about 30 employees. We ship orders all over the world. We do a Facebook Live every Thursday at four o'clock Pacific. And every time I say cute, because I'm talking about water, I mean, I'm talking about fabric, you have to drink your water. And every time I say, what was the one we figured out last week, guys, tea for, um, nobody else in the room was watching. <laughs> Uh, let's see, when I say tea, no wait, when I say, what is the other thing I say all the time? Cute, you gotta drink water. Pretty, oh yes, pretty. When I say pretty, you have to drink your tea or your lemon water or whatever, <laughs> whatever you're into. Hi Karen, how are you? Hi Janice. Okay, so first segment is introducing myself and telling you who I am because I didn't do that last week. <laughs> Things were a little crazy last week. Um, anyway, so we're here, we do a Facebook Live every, or YouTube Live, we don't do Facebook Live anymore, <laughs> YouTube Live, we're almost to a thousand subscribers, we're like this close, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to give away, if it's still in the room, oh yes, I think it's over there, so I'll show you that, um, so what we do is we play games, we have conversation, uh, we give stuff away, I love to give things away, so we give things away, um, during the live, when we do these little giveaways, you do have to be present to win. So if you have to cook dinner, then put a little earbud in and listen. And if you hear your name, let us know you're still here. If you don't have to cook dinner, welcome to No Cook Thursdays. Woo! <laughs> uh. Okay, so as you guys know, it's October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, just so you know, we are donating a portion of our sales this month to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. If you would like to join us when you um, place an order during the month of October, you can add a dollar when you go to checkout um, to help us get to our goal. Our goal is, is to be able to donate $2,000 this month to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And we're matching a portion of our sales as well. So. <clears throat> Be sure to make lots of orders from Rebs Fab Stash this month. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? We have a lot of events coming up. Um, so let's see. So next week we are going to be at the Spokane Quilt Show. The Quilt Show at the, let's see, it's the Washington State Quilt Guild Quilt Show at the Spokane Expo County Fair thing place. It's not at the convention center. I'm watching the door, hopefully. Somebody else, hopefully we don't have any emergencies. <laughs> We're done with emergencies. Anyway, so we'll be at the Quilt Show next week uh, up in Spokane if you're in the area. And if you show up with a Rebs Fab Stash t-shirt on, you win a prize. Yay, giving more things away. Uh, I have to, we are unloading everything on Thursday, so I will be able to show all of you the booth um, Thursday at four. And so you'll get to see it and then show up in your Rebs Fab Stash t-shirt and win a prize. And if you don't have a Rebs Fab Stash t-shirt, we have those on the website. You can get one. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Um, events, oh yes, that's where I was. I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, so then uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about, for those of you that are local, um, we are having another embroidery workshop on October 26th, which is Wednesday. So bring your embroidery machine. I think we've got a project figured out and together we'll help you figure out how to use your machine so you can use it, yay. And for those of you that are not local, 
Mom is coming back for another embroidery conversation. Yay, isn't that awesome? She is going to be here, is it two weeks from today? Yes, so two weeks from today, mom's coming back. We've already started talking about what we're gonna talk about uh, for, the, um, for the live, the YouTube live. I have to remember to say YouTube live. I've been saying Facebook live for so long. YouTube live. Um, we are going to talk about stabilizers. Mom has played with a lot of different stabilizers. And of course, you know, as far as stabilizers go, it's like, do you wash your fabric before or after you make your quilt, right? Everybody has an opinion. Some do, some don't. And it's just one of those things. You ask that question and it's like half the room's over here and half the room's over here. And they all have really good reasons why. So it's kind of up to you what you like to do. So same thing with stabilizers. So we're going to talk about those. She's been playing with a whole bunch of other fun little things. Some of them are sewing projects um, and some of them are uh, embroidery projects. So we will have those. Um, no, you don't wash your stabilizer. Deidre, you're gonna have to save that for two weeks. Two weeks, come back, two weeks. We'll have mom, we'll ask all those questions um, and hopefully try to keep her, keep her focused and not forget what she's talking about because I do it all the time. So, you know, whatever, obviously. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what else. Open house, the first weekend in November, it's the holiday extravaganza. So there's a shop hop locally and we are participating in that, yay. Um, and that is going to be, let's see, November 3rd, 4th and 5th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so come by, we are already scheming all of the fun things that we're gonna do in giveaways and we have some really uh, fun ideas. Um, we probably won't do the golden egg thing because that's really more, eh, I don't know. We might, that was fun. There was, uh, people in the shop and when they found the golden egg, they were like, I found the golden egg. <laughs> it was really funny. Anyway, so that was fun. And they never win anything. That's always fun. I never win anything. Yay. Okay. So then the other thing we're going to do, let's see, I think that's enough for events. Okay. My brain is like, whoa, whoa, done. Last quilt show I'm doing of the year. I'm not doing any more quilt shows the rest of the year. We'll do some next year. But it's a lot of work, um, but I'm glad we're at the fairgrounds so I don't have to try to drive the RV and the trailer downtown Spokane. Mm, bad, bad things would happen. <laughs> that would not be good. Emily's doing good, mom's doing good, chickens are doing good. Um, my one little baby chick, I had a baby chick, I had a chick that hatched like out of, they were sitting on about 60 eggs. I had about 10 hens that got broody, maybe 15. They sat on the eggs for like five weeks Nothing happened because um, they're cannibals. So I did have one chick that survived of, out of all of the eggs. It does much better in my incubator. They survive much better that way. <laughs> She's still alive, so that's good. Um, let's see, other than that, kitties. Yes, the kitties are adorable. I'm giving two of them away on Friday. I, I don't want to though. <laughs> I wanna keep them all. But then I would be the crazy chicken lady with too many barn cats and way too much quilt fabric. <laughs> anyway, so they're adorable. So I'm giving two of them away and I'm keeping two. And um, yeah, they're so cute. I'm working on the Designs by Juju Christmas tree skirt. So I will be posting more pictures. I was up until one o'clock in the morning last night working on one of the blocks. They take about three or four hours for those applique blocks. They take a while, but they're so much fun. They're so cute but I have a deadline. I have to get it done before next Thursday when I leave to go to Spokane. Uh, I gotta have it done. So ooh, if I look a little tired next week, you'll know why. Um, okay, do we have any questions? Anything that I need to respond to? Okay. We are going to learn about uh, disappearing shoe fly block today. Now, what's really funny is I learned about it about an hour ago. And I was like, ooh, that's cool, that's really fun. So thanks to Tammy number one, who taught me how it works and all of the fun things that we do. That is what we're, we're gonna do today. Um, and then I will announce our stash sale at 445. And it's really fun, it's three yard cuts for a very low price. So stay tuned for that. Don't miss out, shop early for best selection because there's a limited amount that are available. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Martha, why are you laughing? Oh, you're laughing because I know it's, I'm teaching whatever. I don't know, but it's cool. I haven't made one yet. So I was really excited about that. 
Um, I took over the shop, you know, five years ago or so. I haven't, I, I haven't been quilting forever, right? So I'm still learning and I'm totally happy to say, you know what, I don't know everything. Let's wait till mom's here or Lana's here, Mary Beth is here or Tammy number one is here. <laughs> hey, Tammy number two. Oh, I wanted one more thing before I get started with this. I forgot. Tammy number two, thanks for signing up for the stash box. And I've been looking at the Reb Swap Stashers page and I've been looking at what everybody's been doing. Deidre, I didn't know that you had an embroidery machine and I'm not really sure why I didn't know that. But I can't always see the comments on this little tiny phone. Um, but cool, I love your projects that you did. Wendy, your little, uh, your Santa Claus uh, window pane thing, that looks really cool. It actually looks like a bookshelf. So that, I think you did a really nice job on that. Um, let's see. And then there was somebody else. Oh, Denise, Denise Eckhart. Um, your, uh, table runner came out beautiful. It did. Don't be so hard on yourself, but I love that you posted that you had a question about stabilizer. Cause I literally just saw that like minutes ago and m mom and I were talking like three days ago about how we should talk about stabilizers, because I think that would be a really good thing for everybody to, to know about. Right. Okay. Yes, Tammy has an idea. Okay. Well, I was just going to say, Deidre said, looks like she said she has two embroidery machines. You have two embroidery machines? Oh my gosh, do they both work? Is everything working? Okay, let me know if there's anybody I need to respond to. Okay, so Tammy number one uh, made some shoe fly blocks. And you'll notice I'm using this fancy design board. Uh-huh, Lori Holt, yep, we have these in the store in case you need some. But basically, these are four and a half inch squares. Okay, here, here, and then here you have a half square triangle. And the half square, these uh, pieces need to be five inches, and these ones can be four inches. Now I got to thinking you could use a layer cake or charm pack for these because they would all be the same size. Okay, so you have this one where you have the whites here, and then you have, let's see, Chrissy, where's to, to, behind you, the other over right side. here, oh, this one. No, the, on Chrissy, the, on the black. Black. board. Oh, over here. <laughs> <laughs> see, they try to make it easy for me, and then I try to make it complicated. Okay, so these are the basic shoe fly blocks. So you just look at where you want to put your whites or your colors, okay? So you have four and a half inch squares here, here, here. This is hard to do in the mirror and here. And then these are two five inch squares and you make half square triangles out of them. And we will cover half square triangles in a future live or tutorial or something. Anyway, so you start with your shoe fly block. And then, this is when it gets really fun. So, actually, I'm gonna go around here and do it. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but here I have my shoe fly block. Okay, and can you guys hear me okay? Woo. So these are four inch finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right down the middle here and right down the middle this way. Okay, hold oh, please, I'll be right back. You get to watch me cut. Okay, so because it's four inch finished, I'm just going to put my ruler down here and cut right at two inches. Also, one of the things that Tammy told me, Tammy number one, is this is a very forgiving block. So if you're still working on getting your seams right, your quarter inch seams um, or whatever, this is a very, very forgiving block which means when you sew it back together, you can't always see the mistakes. Okay, so I have the two blocks that I started with, which maybe I'll just move these over here so that you can kind of sort of see them. They need to be a little bit higher. And then I'm gonna pick up this block. Do you want to make them higher? That I just cut, yes please. That would be great. So this was fun. I actually had a lot of fun putting these together. Okay, so here's the block that I just cut. See? See it? Mm -hmm. 
Now, what I did is I made these cute little blocks that you can use to make, to do all kinds of things. You can do on point. Anyway, so how you arrange them, say I go like this. Are you guys liking this? I don't know if there's likes on here, but you guys gotta let me know if you're enjoying this or not. Am I losing people or are you sticking around? <laughs> Wendy caught on to one of the fabrics that we used. Oh, that was one of our giveaway questions. Which fabrics did we use? So that's cool. So that's one way you can arrange it. And you can see how that's going to look. Okay, now what's another one? So the other one is where you take put your these, other block. Put these together. Well, so you take your other block that yep. you've, where the, so the colors are in the opposite places. That's right. why we did two blocks. Right. So yeah, you can do like that. Okay. So you can make a block like this. And then if you take two squares from the other block, right. And you mix them. Okay. So we have our whites in opposite places, right? So we've got whites here and then your darks here. And the cool thing, the thing I want to think about, like with whites and tonals, you want to have some tonals or whites because you want to have a place for your eye to rest, right? When you put your blocks back together. So that's why we have the darks and then the white separated and then we've got the opposite block okay so now i have my other block so i have so this one is block number one we should probably put little block number one oh, wait i want to keep two and then i have some pieces from block number two so let's just see what happens when i put some blocks here Ooh. That looks cool. Or you can put the white in the middle and see what that does. Ooh, that's fun. Kind of gives it a little hourglass. Then you can turn it that way to do it on point. Isn't that fun? And then if you flip your other corners that you didn't... These ones? Yep. Then it makes a different... Then it has a different effect mm -hmm. and you could even go something like that i'm very symmetrical i like things to be symmetrical but if you had another block somewhere else so that gives you a lot of white space here right and do we have more that we can do we can also oh let's yeah. see we could Junior also squares in the middle do this you could do something like, I don't know, go like this. See what happens when I do this. Yeah, I don't like that one. But that's what's kind of cool about this. So, okay, what's the other one you said? Put the squares, these squares? Yeah, put all the squares in the middle. Okay, a little inch and a half finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's looking at me funny. I did something funny. Switch your bottom too. Like this? Yeah. Okay. There we go. The other thing we were talking about was these are really good, easy blocks that you can add to a panel um, to make the panel more interesting. And uh, another time we're going to do like a disappearing nine patch, but I haven't ever done one of these, but you can make a quick little table runner, something fun. You don't need a lot of fabric for these. Um, so super easy. Anything else that we miss with that? No? I don't know. Play around with it. We also, um, and we have, let's see, the dark. So if I have all the dark ones, which I don't know. It takes you a minute to kind of figure out which ones. Well, you can use that. You have. Design board two. Yes. The big one. That looks like I screwed up. <laughs> which I did. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll then sew this together for next week and show you a couple of different things. So that's the original block that we started with. But there's just a lot of different things that you can do. Um, I don't know, fun. See, now you've got these 
points kind of going that direction. People think it's really creative and it's fun to mix and match and there's so many options. Yes. How would you choose? I don't know. You sit there and you play and you play around with your things and then you're like, okay, there we go. Now I've got a block that I like. And you could do any size, right? Um, the only thing is that you're basically, once you do your, uh, your half square triangle, you trim that down. Once you have it, the two five inch squares sewn together, then you trim it down uh, to a four and a half inch block before you sew it here so that it finishes at four inches. Okay, so we thought that was fun. Um, a lot of different other things. Here's another option where you don't have any white, you just have the dark colors and the peacock fabric. And then here we used teal and white. And then she has all the different pieces so I can play with them and lay them out however I want. So I thought that was a lot of fun. So we're gonna do something like that where we do just a short little segment on some different blocks and I think we're ready to move that <laughs> out of the way. Um, let's see, we have, for those of you that are Lori Holt fans, we have, are you ready to do a giveaway? Yes. Okay, so we're ready to do a giveaway. So we have a random generator. So if you wanna be entered into the giveaway, you need to comment or participate somehow um, so that you are in the giveaway. So um, giveaway number one, what is your favorite type of block to make? What is your favorite type of block to make that you've made so far? And then maybe another question will be, what do you want to do next? Okay. So we'll do a giveaway. So go ahead and comment and then we'll do random generator. So we have Lori Holt fans. We have B Gingham in the house. Yay. Everybody that pre-ordered received their kit. Well, we shipped the kits yesterday. Oh my gosh. I love this fabric. We have a few kits left. We don't have very many but this is absolutely adorable. And if you want to do the bake sale and you haven't done bake sale yet, these ginghams, man, get them right now. Love them, love them. Okay, here it is, super cute. Now you're gonna need some special notions in order to do this. Of course, you're gonna need the pattern, right? Which of course comes in the kit, but then you're also going to need seed rulers. So we use these in flea market and we also use them in, um, I forgot, flea market and uh, granny. No, mm, I don't remember. Anyway, so you need those and that's for the little, um, the little leaves on the flowers. You need your thimble ruler for the vases and she's used these before. So if you don't have the thimble ruler, grab them. Yes, the Dresden. Mm -hmm. And you need circle rulers. So we have, hang on, the two, four, six. This one that I'm showing you is actually the um, 10, 8, 10, 12 pack, but uh, you need the two, four, and six inch rulers. So there's a set that has the two, four, six, nine, but you use those in the granny's garden and the flea market. But if you didn't do those quilts, you're gonna need these um, two, four, and six inch circle rulers. And so the little uh, flowers and the, everything's appliqued, I'm pretty sure. Let me see, hold on, yes, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Appliqued. Then we have, let's see, optional notions, the rulers, which uh, there's a tutorial coming soon to the Ribs Fab Stash YouTube channel where I am using this. These, this set, it's a nice set, I like it. It has a uh, one and a half inch, let's see, this one and a half inch um, by six and a half inch, two and a half inch by four and a half inch, three and a half by six and a half, and then four and a half by eight and a half, and then five and a half by 10 and a half. So it's really nice to have those kind of longer ones because then you can cut some of the strips um, and stuff. It's nice for cutting inch and a half or two and a half inch strips. I really like those rollers. Then, <clears throat> You, you'll need this, the um, point to point turner, turning things inside and out. This is handy to have, the Seam So Easy Guide. Uh, very nice, because see, you can 
put this on your machine and then you can see exactly where your quarter inch is supposed to be. And Lori has a YouTube video that talks about this. I'm sure that I will be adding a YouTube video. At some point, we're coming up with ideas for different things that we can do on YouTube and tutorials and whatnot, but it's actually kind of fun making all these little things. Okay, now let's look at the gingham fabric. Wide backs are back ordered forever. <laughs> It'll be nice when everything gets back to normal and it gets here when it's supposed to. Anyway, so the ginghams, they're so cute. I love these. I think I probably need to rescue this from the fabric store, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So you get a layer cake, and then we have the background fabric, which is her little circle dots, her little sea glass circle dots on white. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, drink your tea, drink your lemon water. And so that is just, oh my gosh, gorgeous. And then here you have teeny tiny ginghams. These are really small, really small ginghams. Karen wants to know if there is a list of rulers needed for gingham gardens. Yes, it should be in our listing. Um, let me look at the pattern though really quick. There's a link pinned on the top that'll take you to everything that we're showing today. Yeah, and the listing's in there. And the listing's in there. So if you click on the very top link, I don't know if you can see it or not, Sometimes we need to do a tutorial on how to use YouTube. <laughs> I couldn't figure out for like ever how to find the comments. I'm like, how do I find the comments in a YouTube video when I'm watching it on a device? Do you have just the layer cake? Mm, I don't think so. I think we put those in the kits. I think we're out of them. I think we're out of them. Yeah, we put them in the kits. We might be able to get some more, but I think you just need to get the kit because you could do something different if you want, right? Look at the green. Oh, we have the charm packs. I think we have 12. No, we're using those in a kit too, I think. Mm. Mm. Another green. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm drooling. I know, it is sad, Denise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to have it. I want to have it all, but I can't. Green. This has two tones of green on it. It's really cute. Tiny. Hard to see in that light. And then a small gingham, little tiny one, green and white. This is screaming bake sale to me. Bake sale, bake sale. We probably have some yardage left. I think we're gonna do some mystery scrap bundles pretty soon. So you might have some scrap bundles pretty soon. Super cute. Love that. Uh, let's do a giveaway. Let's give somebody something. Ooh. One of our regulars. Ready, 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 ready. Karen, Karen McDonald, yay! You win. So we are, hmm, we have a lot of stuff to give away over here, oh my gosh. <laughs> let us know you're here, Karen. Um, let's see, would you like a block or, oh, Lana's commenting. Oh yeah, I forgot to answer the question. Sorry, Lana, thanks. <laughs> And she's paying attention. I'm not. Um, would you like a block or something breast cancer awareness related or uh, another fun surprise? <laughs> Let's pick one. Do you want a block or what does she say? She she's says, here. yay, she's here. So Karen, would you like a block or um, breast cancer awareness theme gift or a different cute little surprise. So we'll wait and see what she wants to do. Um, oh yeah, finish size of the block, half squared triangles. I totally forgot to look at your notes. Um, okay, so then, yes. What else? Breast cancer, okay. Yay! We are going to send you breast cancer awareness uh, tumbler. These are the really, really nice tumblers that will keep your beverages cold or hot for decades. <laughs> okay, not decades. But um, anyway, so and a portion of this goes to the Breast Cancer uh, Research Foundation. And then we're also giving you this cute little uh, chain thingy. 
Um, so I see Wendy wants one of these. Yay, Karen. Um, we're giving one of these away every week for the live this week. So you're going to have to come back every week, month, whatever. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Come back every week this month because we're going to be giving these away um, during all of the lives. And then maybe we'll make them available afterwards. Uh, let's see. Okay, next question for the giveaway. What is your... Oh, what is your favorite Lori Holt quilt kit? Hmm. Did you see the home one that she's coming out with next year? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's so cute. I don't know how... I don't think that woman ever sleeps. Didn't she? she's, she's done like... Six or eight quilt alongs, sew alongs this year. I, and some of them are overlapping. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, so then, oh, I can't show you that yet because that's our stash sale. I was going to show you some of the other notions. We were talking about what are our favorite notions. Um, some of my favorite notions. I really like her square rulers. Cute cuts. These are so nice and easy square up your six and a half inch block she's got these from two and a half to 20 and a half inches so these are really nice because they also have the diagonal so you can find the center of your block if it's an applique block tammy's writing me a note or something half square triangle that's what they're for well no that's what they're good for oh like, that's what trimming up for. your half square triangles yeah right because then you could Put that on there and yes wait see learning along with christy here we go here we go wait how would you do that with this one so take one of the ones that's by itself okay over here yep. and so you line it up with the diagonal on your line of the triangles and then you square it up you line it up ah okay we're just gonna trust her on that one because <laughs> I'm not I'm not following sorry I told you I'm kind of a beginner quilter sort of I mean I've done 10 or 12 quilts but I haven't I haven't done hundreds like somebody else I know you and then that shows you the size you want it and you line it up on your center oh Deidre, I think you've asked questions about this, how to get these squared up right. You may want to consider getting some of these rulers. They're very handy. They are very handy. So this shows you exactly where you want it. So this is, this is a, oh, this is four and a half inches because you've got your quarter inch seam allowance around the outside and they have these in every size. Yes. Okay, what else? We have, huh? Did you show the point turner? No, I got distracted. I did show the point turner. Do you guys know what this is for? I like to use these to poke out the holes in the corner when I'm doing uh, something like, did you guys watch our tutorial that we did on our cute little project from our stash box? Got posted the other day. Super cute, really cute. Um, anyway, this was nice for poking out the corners. Um, Deidre says she has a bazillion rules. She inherited mom's. Well, you don't have Lori Holtz, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is also used for uh, the, turning the applique right side out if you want to do a finished applique. Um, sorry, what am I trying to say? Finished. Not raw edge, the opposite oh, of raw edge. I don't know what it's called. I said, I said something and now finished is stuck in my brain. And that's not what I was trying to say. Um, what is it? Not raw edge. What's the opposite of raw edge? I don't know. Uh, anyway, Deidre says her stash box will be there Tuesday. Well, don't watch the tutorial then. Turn applique. Yes, thank you, Denise. I appreciate that. <laughs> My favorite type of applique is embroidered applique because then it has this nice little satin stitch all around it. Right, Denise? I like that. We also have some cute little Riley Blake scissors 
and yes, turned or yeah, that is exactly right. Uh, and it's a little tape measure. These are cute. $8.95. Are they bleak? You always need more, right? I have some scissors that came with my embroidery machine and I, I need more because they're really, really sharp and it's really nice for trimming off all of the excess fabric around the tack down stitch. Um, so that has been really nice. Uh, ooh, we have our giveaway winner number two already. Um, the other thing Do I we? like the point turners for yeah. is certain ones you can, it helps when you're finger pressing your seams, you can use it to get oh, it yes. creased if yes. you don't want to. I did that one time and I forgot. <laughs> you can use it to finger press, to press your seams open. That's nice. I did do that one time and it's I handy. think it was like a year ago and I forgot. All notions are 10% off this month. Oh yes. And I'm also gonna give you a sneak peek for our sale tomorrow, our weekend sale, because it's relevant to some of the things I'm showing you today. So notions are 10% off with coupon code notion10. So stock up on all the notions that you need. You're gonna save lots of money on that. I'm gonna tell you guys what our weekend sale is early and the coupon code is gonna work for you guys early. I forgot about that. And Oh, when does it work? I forgot when I turned it on. I think I turned it on for 10 minutes from now. The discount code. Yes, for the weekend. Because some of you bought some of the fabric that we showed on the Thursday and then it was on sale the next day. And I didn't want to do that again because <laughs> that's not nice. So I'm just going to tell you what the weekend sale is early. Yay. And the stash sale, right? That's a big one. Okay, winner for number two giveaway is... Ready? Tony Hagen. Tony, are you here? Yes, the Lori Holt rulers are a notion. Uh, notion 10 for that discount. Yes, we will combine shipping. We will always combine shipping if you want us to wait. This is going to be a big weekend. Mm -hmm. A lot of good things are on sale this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see, where are we at? 437. Guess what else we have on the website? Thread. Yay! Thread. We have thread in the store and on the website. We don't have a lot. I can't buy everything. Hi, Cora. How are you? She's like, late but made it. Yay! So we have thread on the website. Uh, we have regular sewing thread. We're starting small with the thread because there's a lot of it, right? There's a lot of thread. But we have Aurafil for sewing thread. And we have just a lot of the basic colors. And we have... Uh, let's see. So we have white, gray, black, cream, and another white, an off-white. Then we have, uh, Lana is actually currently listing the Isocord embroidery thread. We have about 20 colors or so, maybe 30 colors that we started with. Mostly the, we started with the most popular colors. Uh, Mom and I love Isocord. We also have been trying, uh, Mom and I have kind of gotten on this huge metallic thread kick. Right? We want to try um, different metallic threads. And there's one that we did not like, so we are not carrying it. So if we carry it, um, well, actually, I haven't tried all of them yet, but I have tried this um, Silky Silver Metallic. Can you see that? Where's the camera? Ooh. It's over here, I think. This is really fun. This is like, um, yeah, I used this. I did it on... The tinsel on some of the trees and on the hats uh, in the in the tree skirt and it didn't break one thing that we did talk about though is you might want to slow down your machine a little bit if you're using a metallic thread you can do that in your settings um, and turn down the speed a little bit because sometimes that can break the thread but this silky thread this was fun came out really cool looked like tinsel on the trees I can't say enough about it except that I love it we have green and silver and then let's see we have a red so this was fun I did this on the trees very much fun a lot then we have Mettler um, thread these are small spools but we wanted some that kind of looked metallic because those have been a lot of fun on the Christmas projects yes so I have the blue and the silver <clears throat> and the red and the purple and when you buy the thread, then I will be able to order more thread. So go buy thread <laughs> for Pips Pep Stash. Okay. Um, so we're, and then we're adding more of the isocord 
And yes. Um, giveaway number two. Oh yes, Tony. Did she respond? Yep. Yay! Surprise me. Surprise me. Okay. Um, is Tony one of our stash box subscribers? Tony, are you one of our stash box subscribers? We only have several hundred to try to remember. <laughs> can you can we look it up? Tony, are you one of our stash box subscribers? Because that kind of has to do with what the giveaway is. A little bit. A little bit. Um, my favorite notion, uh, one of my favorites, I have a lot of favorites, Wonder Clips. Love the Wonder Clips. So there's a tutorial coming soon to Rib's Fab Stash YouTube channel. And um, you'll see me using these. Tony is a Stash Box subscriber. Okay. Tony, what has been your favorite month so far? Which one is your favorite? The theme. Was it the flowers? Was it the summer one? Was it the acorn one? Yes, both. <laughs> All of them. What was your favorite one so far? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have, which one was your favorite? Um, when did she subscribe? Because she may not have gotten all of them. Oh, she may not have gotten all of them. I think I said July, August, and September. July, August, and September. June, or May. So it wouldn't have June or May. Okay. She loves the stash box. Um, what's your favorite one? Okay, so <clears throat> let's do. Huh? Okay, Tony, we're going to give you this one. Did you get this one yet? We're gonna give you the block kit for the watermelon block. And if you got that one, then we'll give you the one for before that. So, are we keeping track of who's winning? Yeah. Okay, next giving, next giving question, giveaway question. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite notion? Did we ask that one already? What's your favorite notion? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. What else? I think I can announce the stash sale. Oh, I got three minutes. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. The stash sale is a big one. And then I'll tell you the weekend sale too. Very exciting. Okay, so I gotta fill some thread. Yes, thread. I have gone through so much thread with this tree skirt. <laughs> you think you have it. She thinks she has it. Okay. Do you have this one? The tulip block? Because if you don't, we'll send you that one. Wonder clips, rulers, yay, seam rippers. I don't like seam rippers. That means I'm grumpy because I did something wrong. <laughs> I try not to use seam rippers. Okay, Tony, so we'll send you this one instead, okay? Okay. Okie dokie. Um, <coughs> I got two minutes before the stash sale goes live. What? What are you thinking? <laughs> About something? I got nothing. Okay. Oh, you should mention that as far as like little scissors goes, we showed the more, or the Riley Blake ones, but we also have our store scissors. Oh yeah. So we do have these Riley Blake ones, but we also have the Lori Holt stork scissors. Those are little teeny tiny itty bitty ones. Great for jump threads and snipping around um, really small little spaces. So we do have the Lori Holt stork, stork, stork scissors. Try not to say that six times fast. It's not going to happen. Um, stash sale, three yard cuts, $20.95. And it might be live on the website right now. It might not be. We are checking. Lana, is it live yet? Three yard cuts for $20.95. Stock up. Cute. There's a limited amount. There is an email going out in 30 minutes telling the rest of the world who's not here, stinkers, what the sale is. So we have this one. This is Frightful Night by Northcott. Nope, Wilmington. Sorry, Wilmington. This one is cute. We picked ones that would be good for backings. It was really fun picking them out. Three yard cut for $20.95. We're gonna post a link here in just a second. 
if it's not already. This one is pretty. This one's in the three yard cut sale. Border print. This would probably make a really pretty stack and whack, which I also have not done, but I want to. It's on my bucket list. Cute. Oh, drink your water. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, we have some spider print. Ooh, in the three yard cut. Butterfly bliss, yes. The border print nonetheless. That must mean I bought too much of it. And I need to, I need you to rescue some from my quilt shop. Cute, isn't that cute? Uh, and then, oh my gosh, this one. By the way, Lana, <laughs> this one was not on Google, so that's why we still have it. But it is now. So this one is I Heart My Stash Stitch On. Great to use for a background or low volume, even though it has a lot of colors, but it's in a quilt. It's really small. Isn't that cute? This one's by Heather Peterson. Is that upside down? Mm-hmm. Cute. Pretty, pretty. Small technical difficulties, but I'm working on making the stash sale live. Okay. Some of them are live. Like they use the one that's pinned at the top. Lots of the three yard cuts are showing up. Okay, so use the pin at the top. Wait, use the link at the top of the comments. Some of them are showing up right now. And Lana will solve all of the rest of the technical difficulties because she's really smart. <laughs> and if not, just comment. I'll help you figure it out. Penguins and bears on my air. I know, aren't they cute? Snow what fun. Snow what fun. Yay. So three yard cuts. Okay. So then the other thing I was going to tell you was the weekend sale. Now the weekend sale excludes three yard cuts, five yard cuts, pre-orders and subscriptions. So just be aware of that. But there will be, yes, the coupon code, let's see, so it is 10% off everything Riley Blake, everything. And I forgot what the coupon code is and I left my phone in there. Um, Lan no, yes, please. Because Lana is doing something else. YouTube side giveaway. Oh, yeah, I was going to do the giveaway items. That's right. YouTube thing. Yep, it's uh, the happiness bobbin, that bag, and the kit next to it. Because we kept it all in here so we didn't lose it and forget where we put it. Yes, so when we get to 1,000 subscribers, we have a huge giveaway that we're doing. So thank you, we're really, really, really close. We're at 972. Stash sale is all live. Thank you very much, Lana. We are looking for the coupon code for this weekend. Okay. No, it's fine. Yay, thank you, Lana. Awesome. Oh, I've been using these a lot too. These are really nice to have. Small little cutting boards so you don't ruin your big cutting board. Cutting mat, whatever. And, okay, so giveaway for when we get to a thousand subscribers so that we can do live selling on YouTube. This is huge, valued at over $250. Yeah. Um, oops, is that upside down? Potluck Stars quilt kit. So cute, using the cookbook fabrics. And I can't send you present without backing so we are including the backing four yards of this adorable you want to kind of you kind of want to make the quilt okay <laughs> i i have some of these <coughs> and then there's this so cute there's i'm getting i'm inhaling a bunch of fabric dust <laughs> sorry about that hmm okay what's the discount code Stash. Okay, so the discount code for 10% off everything Riley Blake is RBD stash. stash. RBD is for Riley Blake Designs Stash, mm -hmm. all one word. So if you don't want to wait and take your chances about whether or not you're going to win this cute kit, you can buy it tonight for the weekend sale. And only the people that are watching until the end of this video are going to see... <laughs> 
and know what the coupon code is. The binder, so this is also part of the giveaway. The keeper binder, love this, so cute. You can put your recipes in here, you could put your projects in here, your patterns in here. These just make you happy sitting in your sewing room, don't you think? These are so adorable, I love these. Tammy number two, assuming she wins. <laughs> then I'll take care of you. What do you want? Maybe I'll give you a gift card instead to Rebs Fab Stash. So if you win and you already have some of this stuff, I'll take care of you, right? I'll give you a coupon. I'll give you a, I'll give you a gift card or something. <laughs> Wendy said Tammy could send it to her when she wins. <laughs> <laughs> Those two, you two are so funny. This is cute. The canning jars. I need to take one of these home with me today. Oh, I can't take it out. I can't take it out because it's part of the giveaway. Ah, crafting paper. So cute. Awesome sauce. You guys are so funny. Oh my goodness. You cracked me up. That's what you need the uh, cookbook treats. Isn't this cute? I know. Aren't these cute? Celine, I think you need one of these, don't you? Mm -hmm. You can keep all the other stuff. You guys are hilarious. Cookbook, little list thingy. Remember I told you about that? Super fun. Lots of lines in there. Holds up really well in your purse. Cups. Be cute. Cupcake cups. Oh, with fabric designs on them. I mean, who doesn't need a set of these, right? Also. <laughs> we all do. I've used those. They actually don't stick together when you're trying to separate them into your muffin pan like other ones do. So they are actually quality. Our in-house loves to bake baker, Tammy number one, says that they are really nice. They don't stick together when you're trying to separate them. And it's like, you can just boop, 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 put them in your little muffin cups and there you go. We're also throwing one of these in the giveaway. So when we get to a thousand subscribers, the following Thursday, we're going to give this away to somebody that has subscribed to our YouTube channel. Wanda says, can you send cupcakes from the cupcake holders? No, Wanda, we couldn't get them to you fast enough. They would probably go bad. Can you send cupcakes in the cupcake holders? No. Nope, we'll just send you the little cupcake holders. But we also have these all available in our store. So that's our giveaway. When we get to a thousand subscribers, we'll do the giveaway on YouTube Live probably next Thursday because, oh, next Thursday I'm gonna be at the quilt show. That'll be fun. Giveaway winner number three. Ready? Janice Caps. So we're gonna give you one of the blocks, I think. Oh wait, maybe we'll just give her one of these. Janice, are you here? Okay, Wanda says, Wanda really wants some. But Wanda, you know what? If you came to visit, I'll bet we could sweet talk Tammy number one into making some of her amazing muffins. She loves to bake. Three yard cuts, only five available per fabric. So there's only five available per selection. So go check that out. And don't forget when we end the live here, the link is gonna disappear. So if you wanna be on the website, Wanda's like, okay. <laughs> She's really excited. So now you're on the hook. If Wanda ever comes to visit, you gotta make muffins. Okay. She's a really good baker. She makes really good muffins. Janice is here, okay. Janice, we are going to send you some of these little Lori Holt reinforcers that are for, remember those little um, things that you would put around your paper so that it wouldn't break? So this is great for your patterns. Um, and Somebody said something really fast, Wanda said funny. Her Wanda said she's booking her flights. <laughs> yes, you're booking your flights so that you can eat some cupcakes made by Tammy number one at Reb's Fab Stash no, and muffins. What did I say? Cupcakes. I don't really do cupcakes. Oh, she doesn't do cupcakes. She does yeah, muffins. Okay. Or pie. But or pie. Know, I can't make pie. Well, mom can do pie. Wanda, if you come visit, <laughs> I'll have mom will make you pie. Tammy will make you muffins, and I'll. Marinate some steaks. Marinate some steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Buy cupcakes at the store. I was going to say that too, but I thought that wouldn't be very nice because <laughs> that's, <sighs> I like to bake. I just don't have any time anymore. Can I pick up my three yard cuts in Spokane next weekend? 
Yes, or you could get to $100, then I'll ship it to you for free. <laughs> sure, put us a note in there. Denise wants me to bring it to her in Spokane. I think we'll do our best. Um, I'm going to have a motorhome and a U-Haul full of stuff. Um, so, yes, hopefully we don't lose it. Mine is booked and have lots of eggs. Okay, Tammy. Tammy, ooh, really? Are you coming? Ha, ha, ha. Well, I have lots of eggs. Friends. I have like 12 dozen eggs in my fridge right now so yes please come and i think actually i have a friend that ships them but they're hatching eggs and it would cost like 30 dollars to ship them i don't know crazy what now wendy's gonna trade some sourdough bread for muffins <laughs> sourdough bread for muffins there's a gal locally that actually makes sourdough stuff and i trade her a dozen eggs for some sourdough things bagels i think next week i need to get some sourdough loaf of bread things. Anyway, so this is Janice's surprise. I think we're gonna put another fun little thing in here too so that she can have some cute little things. She's like, okay, I don't care, whatever you want. <laughs> cool, so you guys come and see. Come and see us, that would be fun. Just come before it snows. So far it's gonna be nice for the next two weeks. So no snow for the next two weeks, so that's good. In fact, it's not even gonna get below freezing. I know, it feels like summer, it's really nice. We're having an Indian summer. Tammy says she's gonna come visit. We'll have to coordinate. Okay, sounds good. So what we could do is we could have Wendy drive to Tammy, because I can't remember where Tammy lives. Delaware. Delaware. I believe. Maybe Delaware? Yes, I think so. Tammy, yeah, yeah. I think so. She's in Delaware, right? So you guys could like meet in the middle. You know, you guys aren't that far apart. Right? Wendy's in North Carolina and Tammy is in Delaware. Yes. It's not that far. It's like just down the road, kind of. I mean, I know it's like a 10 hour drive, but you know, you could meet in the middle with Mappy Fun, take a selfie, send it to me, post it on the Rebs Fab Stashers page. We met on Rebs Fab Stashers. Yay. <laughs> We're cool. I don't know, whatever. That works, right? That'd be fun. And then you could drive over, road trip, girls road trip. Hey, no cooking for the week. Or two. <laughs> what it takes to get here. Sorry, honey. I'm going to Idaho. I won't be cooking for you this week. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys are hilarious. You're hilarious. Road trip. Yep. I said it first. No driving. Sorry, I must fly. Okay, that sounds good. I would love it. Right after the ankle surgery. Yes, Wanda, we'll have to get you upgraded, too. You can just tell the person next to you, sorry, I had ankle surgery. Get out of my way. You're in my spot. You're in my chair. Well, you know, if they get a direct flight to Seattle, and then they can fly from Seattle to the Moscow Pullman Airport, and, you know, I mean, 15 yeah. minutes they could be here. Yeah, 15 minutes from the Pullman Airport. So you can fly from wherever you are straight to Seattle and then come over to Pullman. It's a one-hour flight from Seattle to Pullman, and then we'll pick you up. We'll even pick you up. We'll come and get you from the airport, bring you straight to Reb's Fab Stash. And you can camp out here. You could join me on a live. That would be fun. Hey, who wants to join me on a live? Anybody? 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 Um, and let's see. Uh, the only problem is going from the East Coast to the West Coast. It's a really long flight. It's really long because you're going against the wind. So it takes like six hours to get to Seattle. But then once you're there, you know, then you're just an hour away and I'll come get you. That'd be fun. You need a shuttle bus to and from the airport. Love it. Good idea, Joanne. I need a shuttle bus, period. I need one of those party bus things, right? You've seen those at the <laughs> local bar. Party bus. I've been on a party bus. Shh, don't tell everybody. Go pick everybody up at the airport. Go, Just go drive around. Quilters, welcome. <laughs> First stop, Reb's Fab Stash. Last stop, Reb's Fab Stash. We'll go get you lunch. I don't know. Anyway, that'd be fun. Ooh, a party bus. <laughs> Corner Club bus. Yeah, we could repaint it. I could buy it from Corner Club. That's the bar, the bar, the local college bar here. They have, they actually do have a party bus. I don't know. I've never been in it. So I guess that's probably a good thing. Okay, we found a squirrel. We went way off track here. <laughs> but oh well. <clears throat> and it's 4.59. Yay. We need a quilt mobile. Yes, we do. So Lana was at this um, show. I can't scroll down and see the comments. So Lana was at this quilt show down in Utah, and there was a um, travel trailer, the one that you pull behind your vehicle, right? 
um, and it had been modified. It was an Airstream and it had been modified and turned into a little mini quilt store. And she took pictures and oh my gosh, it was so cute. I was like, I want that, I need that. But I don't have anybody to make that stuff for us. But maybe, ooh, maybe we thought of a project for Todd, Lana, that would be fun. We could, we could find an Airstream. We could get Reb's Fab Stash painted on the side of it, on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could have him renovate the inside of the Airstream as a little tiny quilt show, quilt shop. And it's everything. And then they would display everything in the suitcases. So when it was time to go, they just close the, close the suitcase and throw it in the RV and off they go. Lana's like, yep. Awesome. Now we know what, now we know what you'll be doing in your retirement. <laughs> Dragging around a, a quilt shop in the trailer. I don't know. She's not allowed to ever leave me. <laughs> Pop-up quilt shop. I know. Isn't that cute? It was so cute. Oh my gosh. We'll have to have pictures or something. That was a lot of fun. So anyway, okay. So I think I ran through all of my talking points. Uh, we've got the weekend sale. We've got the stash sale. Lana's like, I already thought of that. Um, we, we showed you a block. That was kind of fun. I think, so we're going to put some of those together and then we'll, we'll be able to show you a finished project. Oh, how fun. Mobile quilt shop on the go um and then so next week we'll be at the quilt show so i'll show you the booth there the week after that we're gonna do the live with mom and then i am i am twisting arms of some of my staff to have them join me on the live so that they can teach me and teach you if you're new or remind you or whatever i don't know it'll be fun could you run that on to the east coast yes sure if i ever get that done we'll We'll drag it across. We'll do it. <gasps> we'll do a world tour. No, we'll do a tour, like a U.S. tour. Oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. We drive around. Reb's Fab Stash is coming. Come and see us. Do a little meet and greet. Yeah, next summer, maybe. Two summers. I don't know. Summers from now. Not, not immediately. Not next summer. Next summer, Mom wants to go on a quilt cruise. I think in Alaska or something. So I might be gone for a week on a quilt cruise. Maybe we'll host a quilt cruise someday. That would be fun. Do it. Come on. Come now. Come now. <laughs> okay, you guys. I got to go home and um, check on mom. So if you haven't clicked on the link yet, click on the link. Because as soon as we leave the YouTube live thing, it'll go away. So go shop the stash sale. Buy me out of all of those three yard cuts. And um, get lots of Riley Blake stuff uh, with the coupon code that I told you. Did you write it down? RBD stash. You get 10% off everything Riley Blake, which includes Lori Holt stuff, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> excludes five yard cuts and exclusions and um, blah, 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 little print. Okay, you guys. We'll see you guys next week at the quilt show. Uh, wear your Rebs Fab Stash shirt and get a surprise. Get a prize. Okay, 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 okay. If you don't have one, order one. Mm -hmm. I'll even get, maybe I'll even bring it to you so you don't have to pay for shipping. Or just get over 100 bucks and then... And then you have it, right? Because I know some of you do not have your, your, your shirt yet. So get your shirt. Okay. 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 I'll see you guys next week. Have a good evening. No cook Thursdays. Bye. Oh, wait. I have to push the thing. Maybe. If I can find it. How do I do it? Push the X? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll hit the X. Bye.